Oh my god, a brief new look Animal Crossing footage. Oh, come to me. Come into my eyes! Hello! This week a haunted PlayStation 1 demo disc was released, dooming us all to a madness-driven suicide within the coming minutes. Seriously. Except for the last part. Over on itch.io, a bunch of PlayStation 1 inspired horror games have been compiled into the haunted PlayStation 1 Demo Disc 2020. Available now on Windows for the terrifying price of, well, free. Uh, some of the games included have fucking brilliant names like Filth Breed and A Place Forbidden. And my own personal favourite, Tasty Ramen. Ooh. I love shit like this, especially that all of them use and abuse the wobbly textured surrealness that was PlayStation 1 era graphics, giving every game that surreal dreamlike quality and a draw distance that's about as far as I can throw a skip. Speaking of compilations, the impossibly titled Kingdom Hearts series is launching an all-in-one package coming to the PS4 in America on March 17th. No longer shall ye have to look up a wiki to see if Chi back cover comes before or after 0.2 birth by sleep. Or 258 divided by two days. No longer will the positioning of re colon code confuse you. Dream drop distance HD shall no longer befuddle you. And a different game also apparently called Birth by Sleep will not disconcert you. Finally, all of Kingdom Hearts in one single it's not, is it? No. Where would the fun be in that? It's missing the recent Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC, meaning that it's not complete. Well, it is complete in the same way that a collection of Harry Potter books would be complete if the final few chapters had been ripped out. Which, actually, thinking about it, sounds better. Dan Hauser, the Rockstar co-founder who wrote and slash door produced some unknown gems like uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 4, Red Dead Redemption, Bully, L.A. Noir, Grand Theft Auto 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, has resigned, leaving behind the company he founded 22 years ago. One hell of a career, one hell of a legacy, but I'm worried he's going to take Rockstar with him. The casino update increased microtransaction spending in GTA Online by 54%, meaning that 58% of all the money Take-Two makes, Take-Two being Rockstar's owner, comes from microtransactions and DLC. On top of that, a few weeks back, we heard whispers that Rockstar was under pressure from Take-Two to make more games more quickly. Maybe that's it. Maybe no more Rockstar the way that we know them. But then again, maybe he was the, you know, let's pick up each individual tin of beans guy. So, fuck it. Hey, let's see what happens. Blizzard! <laughs> Actually, let's not talk about Blizzard. Tis a silly place. Platinum Games! Platinum this week launched a Kickstarter for a remaster of the Wonderful 101, a Wii U era action game where, if I remember rightly, you just kind of mushed people into a big sword. Or a ladder. Anyway, they smash their goal harder than Jadzia smashes Wharf, and that's happening now. Yay! Quirky game trailer time! In Other Waters is a top-down water the explorer the map where you control an AI that's guiding a xenobiologist through an alien ocean. It looks like a super lo-fi subnautica, but this one probably won't make me shit myself when a tentacled horror from below grabs a hold of my short and curlies. In Other Waters is slated for release this spring. And that UI is fucking Gorgeous. Holy shit. Finally, do you have 290 gigabytes of free space on your computer? Well, Blue Maximus Flashpoint has something for you. Namely, 36,000 Flash games that have been recovered from the dying jaws of Adobe Flash. Okay, so the player will only download them as you use them, but you can also download them all if you like, from Desktop Tower Defense to Line Rider, Yeti Sports, to the Crimson Room, Crush the Castle, to that 3D Pong one I can't remember the name of right now, uh, that obnoxious one with the, the elephant kept changing the rules. Anyway, if you own a drive with all of those on, you are one time machine away from becoming the coolest person in school. And before I go, this week on Byte I've released nothing but high quality content. 
but I have to poo. And over on Dad Cube's channel, I've edited his entire last year into one second per day. Christmas! Boxing Day. Bollocks. So that's fun. Editing it wasn't, it was 27 and a half hours of footage, but... Still, yay! Anyway, that's all for now. I'm off to go read a 4,500 word Reddit post about which Star Trek characters fuck. Bye! Meaning that 58% of all the money take to make from microtransactions... Fuck, sorry. Did you just send me a fucking message? You did. You sent me, I'm into those nacelles. Fuck's sake, Matt.